Elizabeth Quay, and I'm the museum manager and registrar at the Rhythm Discovery Center. Our newest exhibit, Spark, tells the story of electronic percussion, featuring historical artifacts and hands-on interactives. Learn about early vibraphones, which were one of the first instruments to use electricity to produce a unique sound. View a variety of electronic mallet instruments, looking at prototypes from the 1980s and how they've evolved into the professional equipment used today. What colors and shapes have been used for electronic kits? Drummers still want to look unique, changing the look of their kits. Experience for yourself the feeling of playing on an electronic kit and experiment with our kick pedal and contact mic interactive. View one of the first drum machines, produced in the 1950s, which could loop 12 different popular rhythms of the day. Ever wondered what the inside of a drum machine looks like? Now you can, with our disassembled Roland R8. See a variety of drum machines and pads from the 1980s to the present day and marvel at the different shapes and sizes. Explore Glenn Kochi's setup for Monkey Chant and how his use of electronics allow microscopic sounds to shine. Marvel at the future of electronic percussion, like the small triggers that are played with your fingers on the Zendrum. I think it's really cool that PAS funds something like this for all ages to be able to come in and like learn about percussion and where it came from and where it's progressed to now. Um, and it's a hands-on activity, it's not just look, but you can actually play the instruments. It's a lot of fun for all ages. It's really interesting like looking at the evolution of the electronic drum set uh, from how it started to now. So you guys should definitely come check it out. It's awesome. I thought it was really cool to have in the exhibit a spot that shows the history of electronics and just where it's coming from. And it's nice to see how, where we started and where we are today. Discovery! It's electric. <laughs>